Aloha and welcome to A Word with Ward. I'm Representative Jean Ward, and I have the honor and the privilege to talk to you about my favorite district, Hawaii Kai to Kalama Valley. And today we're going to talk about the thing that makes Hawaii Kai Hawaii Kai, and that's the marina. To speak about that, I have two members of the Marina Association, the President, Mr. Bob Clark. Bob, welcome. Thank you. And a member of the board, John Carlson. No, Carl Johnson. Carl, Carl Johnson, Johnson, in reverse. Dyslexic in the introduction. <laughs> but one thing is clear, Hawaii Kai would not be Hawaii Kai without the marina. The visionary Henry Kaiser put it in there. Could you guys tell us a little bit about the history and then some of the things that will lead us up to the present? Well, I, I can tell you a little bit about the, um, the history and uh, what makes it um, such an important element of that, uh, the bigger, the larger community, your district, as it were. And that is that, that uh, Kuapa Pond is a, a collection basin for all the rain and runoff that comes from all the valleys uh, that surround Hawaii Kai there. So um, as stewards of the um, Hawaii Kai Marina, it's our responsibility to uh, maintain that and keep the water channels open for our, our members. Um, uh, early on, uh, Bishop Estate had a, entered into an, a development agreement with Henry Kaiser that uh, this, this marina was the focus of. And later on, um, <coughs> Through Henry Kaiser and his successors, the uh, Marina Association was deeded all of its property, uh, the 13 acres of waterway and several lots around uh, the, the uh, marina. There is uh, an L-shaped lot that you notice when you come into Hawaii Kai, that's where the Hawaii Kai neighborhood sign is located. Mm -hmm. um, and then there's a yacht club site that is across the street, uh, uh, across Hawaii Kai Drive on the marina. There's a three acre lot uh, that's designated for use as a marina. Uh, so those who live in Hawaii Kai actually own the waterway of Hawaii Kai? Uh, we own the, the This association yes. does. The association owns the, the waterway and also several parcels of land on the marina itself. So it's not a public it's waterway? Not a public. And and no one can just kind of pull their boat in and... And that was right. determined in court, okay. actually, uh, at some point. And I, it's, it's in the, back in the history, but it was determined at one time that that is a private waterway. And, uh, and there's 13 acres of 13, water? 13 yeah. acres of water? 12 miles of uh, shoreline. Yeah. Mm. You got uh, your own Coast Guard in Hawaii? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, I mean, just no, about. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, as Carl said, uh, the most important thing the marina does, it, it acts as a catch basin for the runoff from all, all of the mountains that surround mm -hmm. us. Uh, <laughs> and it catches all that silt and uh, stops it going into the Moanalua Bay. Uh, as we all know, Moanalua Bay is, is suffering very much from uh, its eco eco ecological situation, uh, and it's, we're trying to revitalize it, but one of the things is that we do is we catch all that silt and runoff that comes, say, from the housing developments that have gone on over the years, uh, and that silt finishes up in the marina. We do water quality tests on the, on the water every three months uh, so that we are aware of just what the situation is. Uh, we, we get problems arise when we get heavy rainfall. Uh, and that but when you say you check the water quality, mm. it's not for E. coli or drinking yes. or, yeah. or uh, literally. We do, we check it for E. coli for sure. Yeah, yeah, Some, uh, uh, yeah we do. In case there's a sewage break or something like that. Well, or? Sure, uh, uh, but we check it regularly. So because uh, people conduct water sports in there, so you want them to to have the sense mm -hmm. of comfort mm -hmm. that if they fall off their water skis, they can get back. Are up. your standards the same as the swimming pool standard, or is it something of uh, uh, no, Monolo Bay? It's it's lower than swimming pool standards. But so. like Alamoana Beach Park? Um, I would say yes, it's got to be as good as that, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah certainly. 
Uh, one of the advantages, benefits we have from, from in the marina is when there is water runoff uh, uh, from the from the mountains, there is there are spikes in the uh, in the chemistry of the marina, mm. uh, especially I in certain locations. Uh, where the flow is can, is not that high in the open water areas, the flushing, the tidal flushing on a daily basis, cleans out the marina very fast in terms of the chemical build. On the flushing part of it, mm. is it where that is all salt water except for the drain off, which would be fresh water and therefore it's brackish, or is the tide that comes in and goes back so much that it takes it all the way to the back of the marina? and then flushes it out the front. It, it, the salinity of the marina is pretty well the same as it is in the ocean, oh. except where we have very heavy rainfall. I mean, right. that 40-year or 100-year mm. rainfall mm. we had several years ago, that would have affected the salinity in the upper reaches of the marina for a few days. Right. But, uh, so you got 13 acres. How deep is the water in its say the, the deepest of deepest and then the, the shallow of the shallows. Uh, we do have a bathymetric survey which uh, as part of the, uh, the you know our presentation today uh, that shows the uh, the depths in the marina uh, the greatest depths are around 15 17 20 feet those would be the dark uh, blue areas they will be the dark blue areas and the yellow areas go down to about two feet uh, in theory when Kaiser dredged the marina, he dredged it out to an even seven feet uh, throughout, except for the deeper areas, which were naturally there from the outset. Um, and where you see the shallow areas, the yellow areas, uh, that's the silt. That is the mm -hmm. runoff from the mountain. So quite a bit of silt. Mountain. We are talking right now uh, in, ter in terms of, if we were to bring it back to even five feet, even depth, the shallowest areas, we would have a hundred thousand yards of silt to take out of there. And that's all come from the from the runoff from the mountains over a period of years. It seems like a lot of silt. It is a lot of it silt. It is a lot of silt. And it's a big responsibility for just this association. I mean there are twenty four hundred about twenty four hundred members, mm -hmm. dues paying members of the association that have have you know rights to to water sports and and things uh, on the marina, but the fact is, um, all of Hawaii Kai gets the benefit f uh, of us cleaning that out on a somewhat regular uh, basis. Now Hawaii Kai has about twenty eight to thirty two thousand people, depending on which census and which estimates. Yeah. You're saying that only 2,400 people actually live on the marina. Yes. yes. Everybody thinks, oh, you live in Hawaii, can't you live on the marina? Now, here, <laughs> here, here, this is the first time I've had the data yes. where it's 2,400. Those are units or those are actual population of units, so there may be lesser units. Those, those are, are the units. units. So 2,400 units. So if, say there's five okay. per household or something. Then okay. Uh, so, okay, that does bump usually up. Usually there's something yeah, less about than 10, three. If you do that. So. Yeah. And, and then our membership also, if you split, the way it's divided up, we've got three shopping centers on the marina, and each one of those centers has to, has to pay a membership based on 1,500 square foot of rentable shopping area, shopping space. So equi that, the equivalent of that is about 900 members. So the three mm. shopping centers represents about 900 memberships. So in total, if we add the 24 to the 900, we're 3,300. Mem paying members and that those people pay the annual dues. The three the shopping world. centers then are on the Marine Association's property or is that Kamehameha yeah, members schools? of the Marine Association. Both. Both. Carl is oh. the representative of the uh, Hawaii Kai Shopping Center. Uh, okay, so that's you're renting from the Marine Association. No, we rent or from directly from, from uh, uh, KSBE. Bishop of State. The oh, shopping centers okay. are all okay. owned by KSBE. Yeah. Okay. 